Today, we are going to deal with sewage. I'm going to show you how to clean out the cassette toilet in the Rebel. Okay. The cassette toilet hides away in this little box. Unlock with a key. We keep a lot of things in there for cleaning the toilet. to keep the chemical with bleach in there that we use for the bathroom. We bought this stuff. Matt doesn't really care for the scent of it, so we aren't going to use it anymore. I know it's controversial whether or not to use bleach in your cassette toilet. Um, without the bleach, it can get pretty smelly. We just make sure to rinse it out really well. Gloves, so I don't have to touch anything disgusting. Matt, we need to buy more gloves. To take the toilet out, you lift this lever here, push it up, and you just pull it out. In order to pull the toilet out, you need to make sure that it is in the closed position inside. You pull it out. Here's what it looks like inside. See? Not that bad. Just a little... Plasticky. Here's this. Something right here. All right. This is the new cleaner we bought. We had some of this from our RV dealer, and it worked pretty well, so we bought some more. I'm going to bring the cassette toilet into a public restroom at a park. This guy looks a little bit like a piece of luggage. In order to move him easily. Just pull this up. You snap it in place, and there are wheels on the bottom here where you can just roll it to your destination. I'm going to use this uh, very attractive bathroom here. I'm going to attempt to film this. We'll see how it goes. So the sewage is going to come out of this part here. Now lift that. You just unscrew it and then you will lift it up and pour it into the toilet. So I don't have a way to flush it out here. There is some water outside. You flush it out until the water comes out completely clear. This knob here, it is called something. You can open it. I'll show you what it looks like because this guy's clean right now. And it's real important to make sure that you clean this out. Well, I didn't record the whole process because there were a lot more people coming and going from that bathroom than I expected, um, and it got a little awkward. So I'm going to put uh, a little bit of water in the bottom of the toilet now. Um, 
that is the water that's going to stay in it and that's the water that we're going to put our treatment into before we use the toilet. Switch this guy back around, lift him up, and I am ready to put him back in his home. new chemical that we're going to use. I forgot to put him in there. I'm going to do that now. I think I heard it click. And we're good. Now, I need to wash my hands.